it's Friday the 27th of June and we took a rest day up here yesterday after walking up a mile or so with hugely heavy packs but um, we've gotten rid of some of the water weight we carried up here and we're ready to roll this morning we got too much food again so um, we've got a little bit heavier packs we're gonna I'm gonna have to eat the uh, chocolate covered raisins I bought that weigh probably about five pounds so, um, see you down the trail. So, today we'll hit the, the 2700s. Okay, 2700 on the CDT. Pretty nice view. What? It's a pretty nice view. Yeah. Pretty nice. Not sure what that range over there is. Still quite a bit of snow high up. Well, we got word uh, from um, a hiker going southbound that the yurt down here, you can see it down in the valley, is open and available to stay in for nothing. So we're thinking about making this a half mile day and um, staying in the yurt and reading. We'll see when we get down there. Well, this is fully equipped with a table and chairs and all kinds of things so we're going to stay here another day um take another zero basically two zeros or you could say two neros near zeros or zeros make about two miles in two days but this is too good to pass up we both have really good books we're reading so here we're going to stay today nice sunday um relaxing got we can get rid of some of this extra food we bought in lincoln it's gonna be fabulous. I'll take you on a little tour of this yard. It's amazing, the owner just lets anybody stay here that comes along. It was locked all last year, but this year it's open. So there's a door, and there's some food left there, which we do not need. Uh, but there's a refrigerator, which I doubt it's working, but it's there. Um, lighting, there's a solar panel outside. Uh, that makes a lot of noise here at the regulator, which is going to drive us out of our minds. That's okay. So, there's a loft up there. So, this is pretty neat with an incredible view. And uh, this is where we're going to stay today. This is just a little way away from the yurt. Karen's guessing this might be for eagle observation or for maybe putting cameras on or something because this is a, a research station some of the year so this is a structure that's probably going to be used for observation of, i think i may have said this Wawa. solidly built it's monday june the 28th and we had a wonderful day at the yurt yesterday just relaxing and reading and uh, it was great thanks to the yurt owner. So today, we've got water in about five miles at Lewis and Clark Pass, and uh, we're gonna try to make 15 to a pond. We always say we're gonna try to make 15, so we'll try to make 15. See you down the trail. This cabin's about a tenth of a mile from the yurt, and it would serve in a storm, although it's not as airy and white as the, the yurt. Well, there's our yurt way over there, and we've been climbing. 
it's hot today. And we're about to do a bunch more climbing. It's a shame to see what a number the pine beetle has done on this hillside. There's only about 10% of the forest still alive up there. The trail used to go over the top of that mountain. Now it contours around and is way easier. I'm really glad we didn't have to climb it. Well, that was a long climb. And now it looks like there's a fairly long down, down stretch. Yep. Obviously a fire came through here. The beetles have decimated this area. Perfectly still today. A little bit of breeze occasionally. Pretty warm. Must be broiling in other places down lower. I think the whole country is in the thrall of a terrible heat in a way. Well, we've reached Lewis and Clark Pass. So we're going to leave our packs and hopefully a bear won't find them while we're away to get a little bit of water. It's four tenths from the trail here. Captain Meriwether Lewis crossed here. I hope it didn't look like this, it was burnt. Well, it's about noon and we just walked a mile down to a creek off trail to get about five liters, six liters of water. It's 10 miles to the next water source, and it's not a great one, it's a lake. So um, we're prepared if we want to get off, to, um, if we want to get off and camp before we get to the lake or whatever, I guess. There's um, climbing coming up. It's, been, it's gonna be a climbing day, and um, we'll see how it goes. Well, this section's burned over and dead. Very few living trees in here. So we've been seeing a lot of rocks that have been moved like this. And the reason we've learned is that there are moth larvae under these rocks and the bears turn them over to eat the larvae. Uh, we've also found a lot of digging spots for them. So that's of interest. So I think just to save energy, they walk along the trail and find places to dig up where there are moth larvae, which are very high in fat. There's five holes there. Here's another one, six. Uh, so they're really working. I don't know if they come out at night or we just haven't seen one. I don't know. It's literally a cloudless day. There is not one single cloud anywhere um, so we're under a high pressure dome and it's really pretty warm even at 7,500 feet so um, we're taking a break in the shade here drinking some water uh, there's no hurry it's light until after 10 o'clock at night so we're still in the burn we have to climb that big ridge back there it's um Gained a lot of altitude today so far, and we've got more to, to gain. Very still. I think we're going to go right up this ridge and 
up to about 8,000 feet toward that snow on the right. Well, we're taking another break. It's as hot on the trail as we've been in a long time, other than in the desert. It ate, well, we're at 7,500 right now, and it's probably over 80, easily. And there's very little breeze, so we're um, cooling off in the shade, probably do some hiking later in the evening, or uh, I don't know. We've uh, consumed all but uh, half a liter of water that we, we started out with, a hundred ounces or so and we're down to 16 and we've got a gallon in reserve in our packs that's not even been filtered yet so uh, the, the lake's about 5.6 probably from here I doubt if we'll proceed to the, all the way to the lake so up here somewhere we'll make camp probably as high as we can since it's hotter than hell we're just about to reach 8,000 feet and climbing, 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 climbing. Hiked over that rocky ridge. Hiked, uh, gosh, a long way up today. We had a strenuous day today. Um, climbed 2,000 vertical feet in about 12 miles and ended up in a beautiful spot here um, overlooking the ranges. Those are what we've been walking over all day. Huge amount of dead trees, but still very beautiful. See you in the morning. <laughs>